Hey everybody, welcome to Deer Man. Uh, this is an indie game that's on Steam. It is for sale for $2.99. Uh, Deer Man is a short interactive storytelling experience. You play as Jacob's Memory, where you will have an incredible encounter with Deer Man. Excuse me? And the dark side of his love for the wildlife. Excuse me? Uh, if you love animals, this is for you. Uh, yeah, so the devs actually gave me a key for this a while ago. Uh, and I just haven't gotten around to playing it yet. I am super sorry, guys, if you're watching this. They actually emailed me a while back. And we're like, hey, you're going to actually play it? So, uh... so yeah, sorry, guys. Uh, if you guys want to check it out yourself, link's in the description. Um, yeah. So, uh, let's do it. I'm a morning person. I'm really not. Uh, even though I was visiting my parents, I had already had planned to go out for a run in the nearby woods. I like to run. It snowed last night. We don't get snow in Australia. I was totally up for it. Dear man. Oh, that's really cool. I like how they did that. It was a cold Sunday, minus five degrees. I was out for a quick run. Uh, that's really cold. Hello. Woo! Awesome. Uh, so this main unity. Unity. Not unity. What's unity? There's no D in unity. Oh, so I'm okay, so I'm looking for antlers. Gotcha. Which way you want to take? Um, I don't like games telling me where to go, so I'm gonna go this way. But there's a little graveyard over here. I love the way this game looks. Sorry, I'm pinching my nose, trying not to sneeze. <laughs> like a, you. I think I don't know. Unity can do this really well. Like a. Uh, David, the guy who makes uh, Music Machine and uh, a, a Wolf in Autumn. Like, he used Unity to make games look like this, and I think it's rad. There was a graveyard covered by snow. It reminded me of my uncle. He passed away in a car accident not too long ago. But there was something unusual. I saw an animal's leg sticking out of one of the tombstones. Can I, okay. Who's whispering at me? I don't like it. Hey, there we go. Alright, um... Some said I run at the deer. Hey, buddy. Come here, love me. No, love me. No! Uh. Oh, hey, there's a... There's like a cabin back there. Okay, let's go check that out. I'm sure I'm like going way off, like, from where I'm supposed to go or do or whatever. Can't tell me what to do. I'm an adult. What's this? Uh, wooden, wooden box is locked, but I managed to open it. Nope, that clicks out of my game. I cannot open that. Okay. There's an antler over here, though. Hello. Uh, X. Woo! Hey, three I out of five. Saw a cottage. It seemed abandoned, but the door was open. Inside, it was mostly empty. I saw tilted picture frames hanging on the walls and a dusty cupboard by the door. It was a private place, and it looked like someone had recently visited. Uh huh. Uh, press X to range frames. Oh, God. Hmm, looks good. Yeah, it does. Open drawers? God damn it. I keep clicking out. <laughs> this game does not like multiple monitors. A letter? I don't know what's going on with you. You leave early in the morning and come home late at night. The only time I get to see you is when you are asleep. It's getting hard for me. And I'm afraid it's not going to work out between us. Uh-oh. And I'm sure you know that I'm hoping you will do something to make it all good. Emily. Uh, some tells me that's about me. Let's see, is there anything in the trash? Nope. 
Okay. Uh, this is really bizarre so far. Like, I'm, like, I don't really know what the story is about. That's fine. I'm sure it'll uh, all come together sooner or later. Yeah, I love this graphical styling. Like, every time I see a, uh, a Unity game that looks like this, I'm always like, ooh, let's see what you do. Maybe I am supposed to follow the the signs a little bit. <laughs> the woods were beautiful. Everything seemed connected. Okay, let's go grab this antler. Uh, nope. Keep clicking out of the game. Uh, there we go. Whoop. Four out of five. I love collectibles. Yep, so how you doing, everybody? Doing good? I'm doing good. I uh, just recorded some uh, collab games with Bowling Otter, John, and Cat. It was a lot of fun. Should have a... Uh, the video should already be up, but if not, then... Yeah, it should be up soon. It was uh, a shit ton of fun, and I definitely want to do more of that game. Uh, talking about the Dead by Daylight uh, beta that's going on right now. It was, it was a lot of fun. I liked it a lot. I think that I am a, a pro murderer, 10 out of 10. All right, so there's a little, oh, there's a little shed over there. Also, uh, Alice should be starting up soon again as well. I've just been overloaded with things to record lately. Wah. I have a lot of stuff to play for YouTube. Life's hard. Let's grab the antler first. Five out of five, there we go. Uh. I remember I took the axe, too. Woo! Yeah! I'm gonna tomahawk that shit. Let's see, do I... Oh. I found nothing useful in the cabin. Alright. That's fair, I guess. So, now do I go use the axe to probably open that box? And where's the deer man? Oh, there's gonna be like a, a dude. See, that's the uh, animal leg sticking out of the ground. Do I use anything on it? Nope, okay. Let's go try to open that box. Also, what is that whispering? It's like coming from like right here. God damn it, I keep clicking off. <laughs> More games need to lock in the mouse. Like trap it in the game. Alright, let's see. Oh, there's more. Oh. Did more open up? Because it seemed like this was off by itself. Quack. All right, let's see, do I... Clothes laid in the box? I knew there was something strange happening in these woods. Maybe someone was living here. Woo! Again, I love games where I can just do this. Like, I wish I could throw them, though. Just be a giant dick. Well, no, I, I've been over here, right? Alright, so I might have missed something. Let's go back to the cabin and look around. Huh? What is that? Oh shit. Oh shit, run! Uh okay, so I was just walking around and suddenly back. Deer Man's back. chasing me. But I want to. I should find a place to hide. Hi Deer Man. What's up, buddy? Uh oh, I should go to the cabin. Right? But dear man. Whoa, shit. Hi, dear man. Can I juke you? Like the trees fuck you up? Oh, no, shit. No. Trees ah! fuck me up! <laughs> the voice acting. Huh? What is that? Oh, oh shit. shit. Run! 
Oh, right. Don't look back! Don't look back! Uh, I see something in the distance. Is that the... Is that the cabin? Well, that's... Oh, that's like the logo. So I wonder if I'm supposed to run there. I want to go to the cabin. Boom. Fuck you, dear man. Huh? I think that thing is gone. I should unlock the door and run back home. Uh-huh. All right, so dear man, what's up? Oh, hey. <laughs> Jeez, dear man, calm down. Huh? Ooh. What? Ah. What? So what do I use the axe for? I I woke with a migraine, my vision blurry. I was trying to make sense of what ha what had happened. On my right, the fire burned and the kettle hissed. I saw the thing standing in front of me. Well, that thing turned out to be a man, holding a deer mask. He apologized to me and explained he mistook me for a hunter. I assured him that I was I was not there to hunt, but I questioned him why he would have attacked a hunter. He said he had a reason. Uh, as he poured a glass of warm water, he handed it to me. He asked me if I wanted to know. Yes, I replied. He grew up in a poor family, in a small house near these woods. He had a family. A wife and his four-year-old. He hunted wildlife to bring food back home. Huh. So, okay, so there's actually more of the story than I initially thought. So, you got a dude who goes out for runs in the morning. Gets attacked by a crazy guy wearing a deer mask. One cold winter's day. He was hunting deep in the woods. They had only enough food left for one more meal. Uh... Can I go this way? Well, here, there's text over here. I should go read that. This is interesting. Like, I, I honestly didn't know what to expect of this. I've been hunting for the past few years. The woods have never been this quiet. That ringing sound is getting louder. And louder. Or, no, good, I'm walking away from it, good. Uh, there's nothing around here. I should turn back and follow the other path. But, <laughs> collectibles, I need them. I don't know what they're. I don't know what they're for. Maybe like I unlock something at the end if I get all of them. Ah, oh, there's Danny. I think Max just got home. All right. So is, is there anything? Nope. That is a. Oh, that wasn't an invisible wall. The tree's just uh, thicker <laughs> than what you can actually see. Wink. Alright, so I can't cross that bridge. Because there's no jumping, but there is infinite sprint. And you guys know how I love my infinite sprint. Yeah, it's so like, here's walk, here's sprint. So good. Love it. It was almost dark, and he was far from home. He had to be quick. So I'm playing as the uh, the deer man right now, currently, right? And I'm trying to find food for my family because they are starving. Picking up antlers along the way, I suppose. 
Even though these antlers look exactly like those sticks on the trees. But that's fine. Alright, so that bridge is complete, but... After hours but... of searching, he was exhausted and had nearly lost hope. Uh, I hope to get something for today. I don't want my family to sleep hungry. Aw. Sorry, buddy. Uh, it's already dark. I have to be quick. Okay. All right, so I got five antlers. Maybe that... I, I hope that means something. <laughs> I don't know. I hope there's, like, some kind of reward or, like, objective for collecting all the antlers. Hello? And then oh, here we go. found something. He kept a far distance and drew his gun. He couldn't miss this shot. He lined up the sights and pulled the trigger. Uh can I fuck. I just want to get closer. Oh, okay, so I can't. And then he found something. He kept a far distance and drew his gun. He couldn't miss this shot. He lined up the sights and pulled the trigger. Okay. Uh, pew. The deer fell to the ground. He ran towards it to pick it up. And right then, a baby fawn came out to lie next to its dying mother. Oh, what the fuck? He told me it was the worst feeling of his life. He had destroyed another's family to provide for his own. As tears rolled down his cheeks, he closed his eyes tight and remembered how many lives he'd taken. He opened his eyes and there they were, every life he took all around him. It was hard so, for him to comprehend. He couldn't believe his eyes and that he was guilty of what he had done. He threw his gun and ran away. That was the last time he hunted. So he said that was the mother, right? Uh, female deer don't have antlers. He finished telling his story. As he stood, he reached out to help me up. He thanked me for listening to him. I wanted to know more after hearing his story, but it was time to go. We shook hands. He held onto my grip and confided in me. Or confided with me. I hope you don't think I'm stupid for doing this, he said. Of course not, I replied. Deep down inside, I was so inspired by him. His courage to protect the deer and his bravery risking his life. It really touched me. And right then, we heard a gunshot. Follow me, a hunter is near, he said. Donning his mask, we ran, uh, ran to that sound. My heart pounded. I was afraid, but something made me follow him. So, another question. Uh, so the hunter, like, did his family just starve to death because he didn't provide for them? Like, <laughs> was he like, ah, oh, no, I feel bad for killing a deer. Is he not going to feel bad about letting his family starve? I'm trying to get the message that they're trying to portray. Like, I love animals. I really do. But, like... Kind of survival of the fittest at I one point. Or at some point. Lake. I wasn't sure if the deer man went the same way. But I saw no other path. Okay. Uh, let's look for antlers really quick. Yeah, I'm, I'm a little confused of the message it's trying to purvey. Because, like, if he's so upset about killing deer, because he said, like, he saw all the lives that he took, then how come he couldn't see the lives that he saved? Like, why didn't he see his family being like, oh, well, I was providing for them. I don't know. I guess I just need to wait to see what the game's, like, final message is. We'll see. I'm already, like, getting, like, eh about it. <laughs> I just wait to see what they say. 
Yeah, this this is interesting. I I I did not expect it to take a turn like this. All right, so that's a that's an invisible wall. It's time to cross this this sketchy ass lake. That one's so bad. Stampede! What? Oh, fuck off. So because I touched a deer, I died. Oh, come My on. Heart pounded. I was a f all right, try that again. Also, my game crashed, so I had to reload it. All right, that's nothing. Oh, okay, so I have to go this way. Pew. All right, so don't let the deer touch me. Gotcha. Because Apparently getting ran by a deer. Sure what hurts. I couldn't see much further. Oh, buddy. <laughs> Spoilers. Let's go look over here. There we go. Five out of five. That's all I needed. All right. Let's go. Let's go see the deer, deer man. Maybe he's just laying down. He's taking a nap. I saw him lying on the ground. He had been shot. I shouted, Somebody help! I shouted again, begging for help. But no one answered. Uh, the police found a piece of paper in the dear man's pocket. It said, I take full responsibility of what hap whatever happens to me. I held no one responsible. I demand the hunter is set free so that on his next hunt, he thinks twice to take an innocent life from the wild. Uh, police did catch the hunter and drop the charges. I could see the hunter was sorry, but, well, the deer man was gone. Uh, we buried the deer man in the same woods. That night, I couldn't sleep, and the next day I returned to the woods to see his grave. I was there to thank him for inspiring me, showing me how to love the unspoken wild. A baby fawn stayed by his grave, unfazed by my presence. Oh, I can't sprint anymore. No! I need to collect antlers! See, I'm really starting to think that this is... I don't know. I'll give my final thoughts after the video. I knew why the deer weren't afraid of me anymore. I walked among them now, and they wouldn't run. I felt welcome in these woods. That's when I decided to take the dear man's mission forward. There has to be a reason to live. And I had just found mine. What? Just like that? Just like that. I'm, I'm super, like, not, I wouldn't say confused, just like, motivationally, I'm just really confused. Uh, alright, that's all blocked off. Damn it, I really want these fucking antlers, but it's so, walking is so slow, fuck. <laughs> the game doesn't hold my mouse in. Yoink. Ugh, two more. Fuck. I was in the same path where I first met the deer man. I remember how he ran towards me, and I did the same. I started to run. Oh, faster what? and faster. No. I didn't want to stop. The deer ran along with me. 
on my right and on my left. For the first time in my life, I felt a true love for the wildlife. I am the deer man. Okay, so... Homeboy goes on a morning run. Gets attacked by a crazy guy living in the woods, wearing a deer mask. And then the guy's like, ah, oh, nah, nah, sorry man, I thought you were a hunter. And then you learn that the deer man, like, let his family starve, because he felt so awful about killing wild animals to feed his family. And then, like, he started protecting the deer against other hunters gets shot and then the original dude takes up the mantle of deer man so so Like, I get the, like, the, ah, oh, gotta treat nature with care angle. Like, I get it, and I appreciate it. But, like, this kind of, like, forces the message of, like, don't, don't eat animals, ever. Like, I don't, I don't understand. Like, yeah, so, like, I'm a giant liberal pussy, but, like, I still see the need for, you know, hunting. I think it's, I don't know, like, if it's not just for sport, if it's not, like, just for funsies, if it's, like, to actually, like, get resources to feed and take care of your family, then, like, I'm totally for it. Do it. Like, that's just, the cir like, the circle of life. But, like, I don't know, this message of, like, oh, I love the animals so much now, I'm going to stop others from hunting. Like, even if it means, like, harming their family or abandoning my own, like, I don't understand the message they're trying to portray. Interesting way to tell a story. I'll give it that. I just don't agree with the message that they're trying to portray. Yeah. I also don't understand why I was collecting all those fucking antlers. <laughs> like, I thought it was gonna, like, give me a little something extra. But I guess not. Uh, but yeah, that was the Deer Man. Uh, if you wanna check it out yourself, then link's in the description. Thank you so much. Uh, let me know, let me know what you guys think. What are your opinions on it? Because, you know, like, I'm sure everybody has an opinion pertaining to this subject, like, yeah, just, what are, your, what are your thoughts on the message? Maybe I'm misreading the message completely. Uh, yeah, just let me know what you guys thought. Uh, yeah. Thanks for watching, everybody.